You know, sometimes you have to take the good with the bad. And so, yeah, here I am. Uh, later than I would like to be, but still not too bad. Um, I had planned to record all of my videos over the weekend, but I got sick. Part of my ongoing struggle to balance life and um, the intense food restrictions that I now have to live with. But I am okay and I am moving forward. So this is going to be my Goodreads wrap up, kind of let you know what I've been reading, what's going on. And then I will follow up with my book review video. So first things first, um, I am on track with my Goodreads challenge. I was ahead there for a little while, but not now. And that's okay. <laughs> uh, remember when I read, um, it's not always about books. It's about titles. Sometimes I read shorter things or longer things. Um, I've been pretty consistently um, reading longer projects so far this year, but that came and will change. <laughs> so let's see. Um, before I get into, I guess, what I read, I'm currently reading The Brides of Maricor. I started reading it last month and had every intention of finishing it, but just got like caught up with stuff. Plus, um, RavenCon was a really good experience for me last month, and I didn't really do any reading for that whole like weekend experience. So, um, but that's what I'm currently reading. Um, I do have plans to, um, you know, finish that this month and um, read some other things. I want to briefly look at my IWSG book club reads for the quarter. Um, so what we do now is we don't do them monthly, we do them quarterly. So our quarterly reads are Razor Valentine, and that's actually a book that um, it was written by one of the members. And so we always try to do like a member spotlight. And then we do a craft book. And so our craft book is going to be How to Rock Self-Publishing. Now I'm kind of taking a break from nonfiction right now, just because I think I just read too much of it last year. I understand the value of nonfiction. I do actually like nonfiction, especially when it comes to like biographies and things like that. However, I'm just, I want to read for pleasure right now. And so that will tie into the statement at the beginning of the video where you have to take the good with the bad because my reading in the month of April was like, eh, eh. we'll get to that in a second. So um, I do plan on reading Razor Valentine. Um, whether or not I get it done in the month of May is up in the air. However, the IWSG book club challenge theme for the month is New Orleans and Razor Valentine happens to take place in New Orleans. So if I'm going to try to read it for that challenge, I have to get it done in the month of May, but we'll see what happens. So that takes care of that. Now let's see what I actually did read in the month of April, at least what I finished in the month of April. So I read The Invisible Library. I gave it an overall star rating of five. I really enjoyed this book. And this was also um, an IWSG um, theme challenge for the month of April, which was library. And so this was one of the books that I picked out for the library theme. The other book that I picked out for the library theme is the only other thing that I read or completed in the month of April. And I, I didn't actually complete it. I read Lulu's library and this this one fits into the library thing just because libraries in the title, the story itself doesn't have anything to do with a library. It is a collection of short stories um, written for kids, fairy tales. And it's written by Louise May Alcott. Um, she's the author of Little Women. And unfortunately I did give this one a two star rating and I will explain that in the book review video. So like I said, you gotta take the good with the bad. Um, I am satisfied with what I did as far as the library challenge and I'm looking forward to the New Orleans challenge. So that is what I read in the month of April. That is how I am doing with my challenge. Um, and I will be having a whip update later on to say how my writing is going. So stick around for the book review video. And until next time, guys, stay safe and be blessed. Hey, guess what? If you like what you see, you can totally subscribe to this channel. You can also give it a like and leave me a comment. I would totally love that. Okay, bye-bye.